Good evening everybody, welcome back to yet another video. Um, we're back with Dex Gen Racing and uh, VW Cup. As you can see on the screen, on the title, we're uh, round three tonight, Lago Maggiore. Uh, we'll jump in in just a second. Uh, I'll just do my usual thing that I do at the start of every stream and go quiet while I just send this link everywhere. Round three of the NGR VW Cup. Come watch the fun. Um, I'm going to apologise in advance. Um, the commentary is going to be even worse than normal tonight on the on the fact that I've got uh, what can only be described as the the deadly man flu. Um, it's ruined not only my ability to talk but seemingly to think as well John Green how are you doing um, yeah so I don't know you know when your brain just feels like it's 10 seconds behind everything else like, I've been at work today and normally like I can just sit there and sort of come up with amazingly sarcastic witty responses on the flight uh, anyone that works with me will know that is a lie um, yeah I've just not been able to think like lately or anything it's really weird uh, so let me just sit in my rig and I'm already in the Hooters Sirocco and I'll take you for a lap around Lago Maggiore and we'll see what this track's all about I've done there we go, sorry uh, I passed a button that took me straight to um straight to my messages rather than anything else. Right, so... Let this guy go because he's actually doing some practice. I'm just literally messing about for the internet. Come on, mate. Get on with it. Am I going to have to overtake you? Oh, shit. Yeah, that's it. Right, so this is uh, Lago Maggiore West. Oh, power's in here. Uh, yeah, Lago Maggiore West. Uh, most of the full track, to be fair. Uh, I'm going to have to get past this guy. And just do a, try and do a bit more of a flying lap than I normally would. Uh, so the NGR VW Cup does always give us some close clean action. This is probably one of the more open circuits this series does race on. That's not focusing far too. See, I'm having to focus way more on just driving the damn circuit than I normally would have to. I think last week I did the entire commentary while I was doing a lap. Anyway, enough of me feeling sorry for myself. So. If you're going to see instance, you're probably going to see him down here because people are going to go for ambitious moves down on the left. And you want to get your braking done nice and early and carry a lot of the speed through to you want. You can cut tons of that corner legally. And then down, first gear is too little, yeah, so you'll need second. And then just balance the throttle through here. Try and avoid the sausage, try and avoid going too wide. That's just about on the limit. Uh, through the S's, and the Sirocco does feel nice and planted through here, so absolutely no issues with understeer or anything like that. Uh, coming up over the hill, uh, I'm going to be looking for a light board on the left hand side, that's roughly my breaking point. And then I'll probably stick in third just to call the understeer. Yeah, there we go, get on the beans nice and early, there we go, lovely. Um, again, back through the S's, the Sirocco is nice and even through here. Not too much of a difficult track, although I just lumped somewhere else. Now, this is the corner where people are going to lose a lot of time because you want to try and keep your speed going through the corner. Now, I'm just waiting for a load of the guys to come in. There's Green Army. There you go, John. Right. You know what? I've debated driving in this thing because this is fun. It is a good little car. 
Uh, 126 is what Light Blade did. I've done the 126 free, so I'm just a bit slower than Light Blade. Given that he's winning everything at the minute, that's not a bad thing at all. As we saw, I made quite a few mistakes. Bobby can make it tonight. I'm pretty sure I saw in the chat that um, he's got other commitments, which probably means he's a finger and a dog or something. I don't know if I want to cut any more of that corner, but it lets you do it, so that's what I'm going to do. We will get back to actual commentary in a minute or two, but. For some reason I knew I could do a lot more, a lot more of a better lap than I just did then. And I've lost tons of time in that sector, let's try and make it back up here. Yep, yep Tom, you're right, full house, gives me people to talk about. So I'm going to do my voice in it. Oh, that's too deep. I don't do my voice any favours though. No, I know I can do a better lap than that, I'm not going to keep going though. Optimals are 126.1. 126.1, so yeah, I'm better. That's a good thing about a sim, I can do that and not feel bad about it. Uh, right, let's keep on top of the comments. Hunty the Punty, hello! Hello, Hunty. I am actually going to smash a link in your Discord. Uh, you have just reminded me community videos, Hunty the Punty. There you are. Community videos. Let's just smash a link in there. Hunty is racing now. Yeah, I think we're going to get underway with qualifying now, so I'll probably time that probably about right. So let's get in and have a look at what everyone's up to. Uh, one car, Laz. Get back down. Right. I don't know if you've had the memo, but it's. Um, it's uh, So, Light Blade 125.8 he's done now, so that's uh, showing the pace that he's got. Uh, KZ2 has a. Uh, oh, practice 126.7 for KZ2 in the cars inspired level. Uh, the Les in the Megan, so everything he does is irrelevant right now. Uh, Hunter the Punty in the Global Racing Team KFC livery, that's a weird choice of sponsor. Uh, he's not set. A blister in time yet. We do know Hunty can often mix it up at the top, so we'll uh, we'll see if he gets involved this week. Slow Seamus doesn't always live up to his name. Uh, last week out at Kyoto, uh, had a good had a good night. To be fair, got involved in quite a lot, but was up and down the field all the time, so didn't really get a representative viewpoint of what he might actually be like. Uh, Harry 1186 again. We didn't really see too much of Harry last time out. Hopefully be able to give us a bit more of a rep. Uh, nice one for putting my logo on your livery though, mate. Do appreciate that. Good old Shadow Stalker. Uh, good to see Shadow Stalker back with us once more. Uh, Jerito Mon, South African. Uh, not quite got up to the pace yet, but he's a new driver to us, so wish him luck, good luck tonight and hopefully he has a good night. Uh, Laurie 32 who we saw on our outlap. Um, again, not quite up to the pace, so hopefully he makes it. Uh, we missed him, Carl, 25. Uh, again, another new driver. Uh, nice livery on that, to be fair. Lobats. That's a nice looking car. And then Pav. So any mature racing club fellow watching this will know of Pav 46. Uh, recently his birthday, I think, was it Pav? Yeah, it was your birthday not long ago. Um, he's, a good lad, he's, our, he's a good lad, he's our Pav, and uh, wish him good luck tonight. Uh, Danzo. Well, Danzo had some really good battling last time out as well. Um, so again, hopefully he can... Uh, I'm still entered in the JPH 99. Uh, I best unenter from this, haven't I? Uh, let's, get, let's get myself out. Cancel entry, there we go. You don't want 
you don't want um, some commentator in here. Why the runner? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why he's got a runner. No idea. Um, no nice. One minute. Oh no. Jordan, we might have a problem, mate. We might have an issue. You might have to cancel quality. <laughs> He's in a bloody began. I think you're going to have to bin this one out. Uh, right, let's get that playing. Right then. I wonder if we've got tables for this. Have we got tables? You know what, I don't know. I don't know if we've got tables. That's the last place to change. Might follow the two. It's not letting me go to the last. So obviously, yeah, this is quite wrong with it. God, gotta love him. <laughs> um, cheers, Jordan. Yeah, I didn't know if they were on the website. I, well, I can't get on the website. Every time I do it, it says something about access is forbidden or something about. Well, I think it just doesn't exist now. I think Cutler was saying something to me about the hosting, but I wasn't too sure. I think if enough of us send a message. Oh, I know where the tables might be. I know where they might be. They might be in the group chat. Oh, they're in the group chat. Who knows? No, they're not in the group chat. No, they are not. Yep, there we go. Right, we're all out. I think. Stuff. Right then. So, we'll... We'll get the Les back in a, um, in a car that he can use. And we'll get back on the way. Um, nine people watching this. If you are watching this, drop me a, a, a quick like on the video. Uh, drop a comment as well and let me know who you are, where you're viewing from, who you're cheering for. Um, in my cold infected state, I'll try and do a good job of commentating, but um, <sighs> no promises at all, I'm afraid. Uh, cheers, mate. I'll go and have a look for that now. Jordan. For some reason, messenger doesn't always actually work. I don't always actually get messages. There we go. Yeah, it's gone through. It's gone to my request for some reason. Top to view. Lovely. Oh, man. Right, okay. So, tables then, just while we uh, sort everything out. So, this is only after two rounds. Um, so, it is the Bobbies running away with it. So, Lightblade is on 45 points with MRC Bobby on 36, 9 points behind. JPH99, the host, is on 27 points. Um, Hunty the Punty um, in fourth, uh, making a really good account of himself so far with 25 points. So, he's only 20 points behind first place. Um, and if he can have some good results, then I'm pretty sure he can... Um, he can string it together quite well. Uh, let's have a look. Slow Seamus, again, like I say, he's, he's uh, doing well. He's Seamus, he's in fifth. KZ2 has it in sixth. TP86 Racing in seventh. The Les in eighth, not bad for a filler. Uh, Shadow Stalk DBS in ninth with NGR Danzo in tenth. And then we've got Burnt Fry. 
Um, in 11th, Mr. I work all the time now, so I can't race. Sir Bertus in 12th, Young Boss 2000, who isn't with us this week, is in 13th. Uh, Harry 1186 in 14th, Mad Marshall in 15th, and Laurie 32 in 16th. So we see some of those guys uh, back with us today. Ah, it's all good, Puff. To be fair, mate, I always thought your livery was just black with a 46 on them anyway. That's all I'm used to seeing from you. But who am I to judge? Right, so, qualifying. So, the format of this one, just in case you, you know, you're new to it, or you just accidentally clicked on this YouTube video because your recommendations weren't working or something like that. Um, we're going to do 10 minutes of qualifying. Uh, so as we've seen, it's one minute, what was it, 20 summit, one minute, 26 laps. So the laps weren't too long, so they should get a few laps in, and then it's a 20 minute race. The interesting thing about this format, um, as opposed to a lot of the other stuff that I race in, and if you're watching this, you, you as well, um, is that there's no tyre wear, there's no fuel depletion, there's no tuning, there is strictly the same, but it's well, the only thing they can change about it is the pace. Like they can only change the livery, nothing else. So it is purely down to driver skill and ability. Now these Sirocco's, as you probably noticed in my laps with it, they're not difficult to drive by any means, but they take a certain driving style approach, and it's one that doesn't mix with me because I'm quite an aggressive driver. You need to be really smooth, really delicate with your throttle inputs to get the best out of it. Um, they react well to quite sensitive braking as well because of the way the cause basically all the weight's at the front. So if you smash the smash it in, it's just going to want to steer like crazy. Um, so yeah, it all comes all boils down to driver skill basically, and that's one of the reasons why I do like this league. It's it's short and it's punchy as well. So you race him for like half an hour, and that's not a lot to be fair. When when you think of the leagues that a lot of us go in, I mean the MRC lot we all race for like two and a half hours on a Friday night. Uh, Wednesday night I do a GR3 league, which granted last night I didn't get all the way through it, but typically that's like a two hour thing as well. So, you know, you're racing a lot and then there's all, pra all the practice as well. Um, so it is quite, um, this is quite easy to get in and drive. It's, it's a good intro series in my opinion, so um, it's good to see a full lobby. Uh, how are you? You watching from work, mate? You're currently getting paid to view my stream because if so, well played. Uh, Hunty the punty, I don't have the skills you think I have. You're an A-rated driver. What are you on about? Oh, something's happened. Boys, the race starts in ten minutes. It's five, and you're going into the death hairpin. Slipstream isn't that critical for these cars back out of it. Uh, him, Carl, obviously listens to the stream because that's exactly what he's done. He's backed out to find himself some space. Okay, right, so we're going to see some fast times coming in now, hopefully. So, Light Blade on his first flight lap, we're looking for like a 125, 126. 126.2 for Light Blade, the Lairs, 125.8 for the Lairs, smashing time, Jurito, Ron, can you do any better? He does on 127.0, Dan's on 128.7, JPH 127.6, not a great lap from JPH, can improve on that one. Shadow Stalker gives us a 130.0, uh, Louis 32, 129.1. Read around me 1357, Hassa 1397, Haunted the Punter 128, 1, Seamus 143, so Mcarl 138, and Harry at 129, 3. Uh, Pav though, Mr. Pav 46 immediately smashes all the competition out of the water of a 125, 8, and that's six thousandths of a second faster than the letters. So the Pav has thrown his hat right in the mix, and don't forget he's not done any of the previous rounds, his, his experience with this car is going to be pretty minimal at best. 
Uh, TP86 Racing doing a good um, doing a good lap there as well, 127.9, but getting a bit too familiar with the sausage. I think you can learn a lot from life, and one of them is don't get too familiar with sausages. Uh, and will lead to trouble. So the Les going to come out to finish his uh, lap in a second. Before we do that, we'll see if Lightblade's going to improve. He's got to improve by three and a half temps. It does improve, uh, but only really to cut the gap down to this man. He then goes pole. 125.8. It'll be interesting if Pav, who is just finishing his lap now, um, can improve on that. Can JPH99 improve? He can massively improve, but 126.8 from JPH99. Uh, there's loads of guys coming around to finish laps now. Uh, Pav 46 is going to be one of them. Uh, but he's just going to get a little bit held up by Harry. Or is the slipstream that uh, that Harry's going to give him a little bit of a benefit? I, yeah, I think there was just a little bit held up there. Uh, of course, completely inadvertently. Uh, let me just back out and go back in. Uh, for some reason, my keyboard shortcuts for views aren't working, so I'm going to have to mess mess around with this. So I'm actually going to use my controller to do this, which is old school. Work. No replay markers aren't working either. This coverage is going to be fantastic. Alright, so next flying lap is going to be from Monsieur Ledblade Ticket Etienne. And uh, I guess a really good line. Oh no, he def did he get a good line? Was that a good line? Who knows? We'll find out in just a second. 125.9 to beat. It's going to be 125.6, which is good enough for pole position right now. Is the lad going to smash that? 120. Look at that. Right, I'm screenshotting that. One minute. <laughs> I'm screenshotting that. 0 0.001 of a second between the Les and Lightplay. Uh, this is one man that can interrupt it though. Path 46. Let's see if he's going to... Does anyone else do it? Path is on his way round. Uh, he's got to improve by two temps. Has he got that in him? Is he going to be able to do that? One twenty. He'd need a one twenty-five six. He puts in a one twenty-six. He's got enough time for another couple of laps, though. So let's see how he gets on with that. Uh, Hunter the punch is slow. Seamus is holding each other up just a tiny bit there. Uh, JP ninety-nine now all on his own. Uh, TP six racing does improve a one twenty-six eight for him. Jurito Morn, just behind Enjard Dando. Just quickly flip through and see who's where. Uh, so Lightblade is coming through to finish uh, his next flying lap. Is he on an improved time though? Uh, he could really do a gap in the lines a little bit more than he is now. 125.60 beats, 125.5. He sets the less goes even quicker. 125.5 as well. This time, four hundredths of a second between those guys. Uh, so though these two are just trading pole positions with Pav, occasionally upsetting the mix as well. JPH does improve. 126.4 for JPH. Uh, Jurita Mon also improves. 126.5 for Jurita. That's a good lap. It's a very good lap from Jurita. So he's proving that he can get in the mix as well. Uh, Hunter the Punch has got a little bit of work to do though. Laurie 32 sets a 129.0. Path 46 is is he on an improved stage? He's coming to a timing line now, so. No, he's. Path is hugely down. Uh, I'm afraid. Uh, Lightblade's coming round to a timing line as well, so let's see if Lightblade's going to be improving. We'll go to the Les as well afterwards. So currently, Lightblade is purple, which means fastest out of everyone on track. The Les just missed him. But is the Les close enough to be getting slipstream? No, he's not. So let's just watch Light Blades as he comes over the line. He was purple coming out of sector two. Which means fastest of all. So he was two tenths purple by then. We should see him into the 125 freeze based on that. Uh, lost a ton of time in the last sector. The Les. It doesn't improve, but it does put a 125.6 on the board. Um, so, good luck from the Les. 125.5 is pole currently. 
Uh, Pav is now polling set to 1, so it'll be worth keeping an eye on Pav to see if he improves. Panzo puts in a 127-1. Uh, Slow Shame is still holding holding stock in 4. JPX 99 it isn't far behind him at all. Uh, as we see KZ2 Hasset put in a 127-0. Slow Shame is going to improve. No, JPX 99 is just starting his lap. Let's see if he's improving his time. These will be the last laps that they're on now. JPH is improved. Let's go back and check in on Pav, see how he's getting on. Um, he's still purple. Pav is purple. The last chance saloon for Pav. He's got to beat a 125.5. He's going to be the next person across the line. Can that Pav 46 do it on his uh, debut Sirocco Cup? Uh, he gets it. He might even get another lap in. 125-3 for Pav 46. That is a pole position for that man. Uh, can these boys answer him with anything? Then they will have just seen themselves shimmer down the leaderboard. Checkered flags are out. These are the last laps. Four light blade doesn't do it. The Les does he manage to do anything? The Les doesn't manage to. So that is Pav 46 on pole. Unless any of these boys can do anything about it. So we've got slow Seamus. So he's on improved time, but. He's got to improve by one and a half, one and a bit seconds if he wants to knock Pav off his uh, pedestal. Uh, JPX doesn't improve. Hunter the Punty doesn't want to be doing an improved time. Jurita Mon doesn't improve. Uh, Keza 2 has is going to be the next guy across the line. He would need a fair old effort to get himself up that grid. Uh, it does improve, but it's not enough. Uh, 126.8 for him. Let's see if anyone else. Shadowstalker improves. Him, Carl improves as well. Uh, Hunter the Punty does it improve. That's pretty much everything done. But blood, it's go to Path 46. Uh, debut Sirocco um, Cup race, let's say, and smashes in a 125 free time. Mr. Dark Smoker GT Sport, how are you doing, my friend? Feel free to plug your stuff in the comments. I believe you're with the Renault McGann trophy things tonight. Uh, uh, yes, JPH. Very tight, mate. Very tight quality again. Not a lot between these guys. You'll get a splash screen in a minute of all the times. It's a top three within two tenths of each other. Right, let's hope my keyboard shortcuts work. Is the audio all right? Can you hear me all right? Or am I too loud? That's a funky cam wrangle, isn't it? Right, so for some reason I can't go on board with people. But we'll persevere as best we can. Uh, everyone wants to get away from the line cleanly. Uh, Path 46 is going to have the inside line into turn one. Uh, the preferential line, everyone from the outside though, if they hang it in, can get the inside for turn two. JPX 99 gets bumped wide a little bit. Uh, looks like everyone's making it through cleanly. Light Blade and the Les side by side going into turn three. Looks like the Jurito Mon was a little bit wide coming out of turn one as well. So we're all streaming up the field for the first time. I'm just going to back out and try and get my shortcuts working. Uh, no, I think my keyboard is broken. Add to, add to my misery. Player names now don't display over people's faces. It's going to be really helpful for my commentary. So the Les has managed to overhaul Pav into um, P1. Path is going to be chasing down, so he's probably going to be eyeing up a move into turn number one. Uh, but he's going to need a good run out of this last corner. Can he do it? I think it looks like the Les has gone a little bit wide. The Les is glitching a little bit by the looks of things. I don't know if it's just on my screen, that might be why I can't do or see anything. Doesn't look like Pav's going to be close enough to make a move. Meanwhile, further back, slow Seamus has got past Lightblade, so he's now looking to third place. Lightblade, although he's going for a move. Uh, can Lightblade get that done? No, he's going to have to back out of it. JPX 99 after that little incident on turn one on lap one. He's not doing too bad, to be fair, but he's just getting nudged wide a little bit by KZ2. Uh, if 
Kaiser 2 can get a run on him down into the hairpin. Happy days. No, meanwhile, Hunty the punt is uh, being a bit optimistic here. Is he going to go for the move on the outside of the hairpin? Uh, no, he's fought back of it, but he is going for the cutback. Uh, I am keeping an eye on what's going on up at the top. Have we tried unplugging your keyboard while it's turned on? Uh, no, I haven't, mate, but I'm going to try that now, you know. One second. I have to climb out of my rig to do that. Right. <sighs> hey, Dark Smokey, you IT genius. That has worked. Thank you very much. Right. Get out board this battle then. Uh, the Les versus Path 46. I still haven't got player names above the cars. Well, that does happen from time to time. I can probably work out who's who from now on. Uh, these two racing nice, close and clean. Uh, Slow Shamus doing a very good job of holding off Light Blade. We know how fast Light Blade is. Uh, current championship leader is Light Blade, so he'll be wanting to get that move made quickly. Uh, JPH99 is coming under increasing assault from behind. Uh, Hunter the Punty is now joined by Jurito Mon. Uh, Heavy 1186 and Murray 32, so all these boys are going to be wanting to join in on the action. Uh, TP86 Racing's had an awful start, he's down in 11th. Uh, he's now coming under assault as well. So TP86 Racing having to set the wide line, Murray 32 is going to get that move made through the inside. Uh, lovely move by him, Carl, as well. That was a great move. In order to get himself up into another place, we might go and have a little bit of a look at that from his on board. One of you have keys turns the name, but you know what? I've probably just I'm not gonna play. If someone can go you know what? I'm not even that bothered. I ain't even that bothered. Let's go and have another look at that move from him, Carl, because this was really impressive. So look how far back he is. It does not break the guys, but just keeps it nice and tidy on the inside. That that was lovely. That, ladies and gents, is how you overtake. Meanwhile, Pav46 has got past the Les. I've missed that somewhere. Uh, just takes the fastest lap as well so far from the Les. The Les won't be happy with that. He does like a fastest lap point. Uh, so he's now up into first. Slow Seamus and Lightblade still having a little bit of a tussle, but Slow Seamus has managed to win that one. Uh, JP99 coming on increasing assault from KZ2 Hassett, but KZ2 is um, just not able to get that move made right now. Two now is coming under assault from him, Carl, and TP86 racing. So it was this corner coming up that uh, this all happened last lap. Uh, so let's see if him, Carl, can line Lorry 32 up for another similar move. Uh, he's pulled out. Uh, pulling out is always good life advice, and him, Carl's done that to perfection again. Another clean move. This time, TP86 was gone for the cutback, but didn't quite get the speed out of the corner. Carl is just ahead by a fraction and he should get that move made here. Um, lovely bit of racing from him, Carl. That's really impressed with what I've seen from him so far, so hopefully he sticks around. Um, you know, Shadow Stalker, Mr. Shadow Stalker, and Dan is over having a nice little battle at the back as well. Um, DM from Dark Smoker, this is, this is dangerous stuff. Wait, I've just pressed F1 that says, one minute. There we go. There we go. There we go. Right, you know what? This is gonna be. This is gonna be easy doing it that way. Dark smoke. I owe you a pint, mate. Actually, owe you a pint. All right. Let's keep in touch with this then, because um, again, this is what's happening with the Sirocco's, because it's such a short race. We're already a quarter of the way into it. Um, you, the battles never really stop happening. Um, so these boys are obviously fighting it out. They're, they're pulling the gap to Lightblade and Sheamus as well. Lightblade has managed to get past Sheamus now. Um, it's just going to have to hope that these boys fight. Um, so a massive lag spike from the Les there. I don't know whether that was um, just my screen or anything else. But it's, it can't just seem to lag. Uh, but the Les is currently beating Pav on this one. But Pav, knowing him, Pav's a very quick guy. Uh, probably one of the faster guys in MRC. 
we all know from the lads if you've watched the series before that he's pretty much ran away with championships and stuff before anyway. <laughs> so, uh, JPX 99 is now down into 7th. Uh, he's chasing down a hunter the Pinty. He was looking a little bit ropey, it must be said. Uh, but if he can keep in the slipstream of KZ2 House, he should be alright. Right, his camera angle JPX is going for that. Uh, Audi can just dive bomb into turn one. Thinks better of it. Knows I'll call him out on stream if he does anything filthy, so uh, does keep that nice and clean. Uh, meanwhile, what else is going on? So I'm going to take this slight lull in activities to, send, to just direct your attention to the comments. Um, so not long after I finish here, so at 9pm, so in half an hour's time. Uh, if you want to go and join Dark Smoke over on his channel, they'll be streaming the P1 uh, Renault Megane Championship, so they're doing, uh, but they're doing a reverse grid from last week, so that'll be quite interesting, so that promises to be quite a good little race. If you want to go and uh, keep your racing appetite wetted, uh, go and speak, to, go and uh, subscribe to Dark Smoke and it'll keep you entertained for the next hour or so. My throat will have given out by the time I finish speaking on here, so you've got no hope. I'll just be the end. I'll be at the end of this sounding like that squeak toy from Toy Story 4. Uh, Light Blade's not really managing to pull in on these guys ahead despite him fighting. He's, he's not losing time, don't get me wrong, but he's not gaining any either. Uh, Keza 2 Hass has managed to drop Hunter the Punty a tiny bit. Uh, Jurito Mon really getting involved in this fight now, so he's going to be looking to make a move on Hunter the Punty anytime soon. Uh, JPH is flashing his lights furiously. It's like an agitated BMW driver on the A40. He just wants past. Let's check in on everyone else. Harry 1186 as Lorry 32 goes cutting the grass. Uh, TP86 racing. Not having a good day out. Uh, he's currently battling with him, Carl, as well. somewhere we've lost a load of places I'm not sure where that happened he's got a 128 lap in there somewhere uh, but these boys at the back probably giving us the best racing uh, so far in this race uh, this has been the favourite place by a country mile to make a move but TP86 is possibly going to be the one that's going to make this happen so far uh, it just pulls out uh, Shadow Stalker pulls out on Danzo as well lots of pulling out going in this championship which is always good to see one man I've given no attention to so far I'm sorry about that John is uh, is Green Army he's probably the guy that I should pay attention to given he organises this entire thing um, the Les and Pav still two temps between them uh, literally nothing to separate these guys at the minute other than a tiny speck of air um, again to cover off Lightblade isn't really gathering in these guys halfway through the race now he needs to get on with that going to have any hope of, uh, I mean he's got a podium but if he wants any hope of getting up a little bit higher and he really needs to get a, uh, a move on. Uh, slow Seamus has well and truly dropped fifth position though so um, Seamus is in a good position where he can really chunder in with it. Uh, so he's got five seconds gap to KZ2 house behind and KZ2 house was coming under pressure from Jurito behind he's not anymore so he can probably focus on getting away but uh, he is still giving slipstream to the guys behind. Uh, onto the punter though, is, uh, is about to be overtaken by JP. It's 99 by Lux Swings. Um, defends well to the entire hole. Oh, looks like there was a bit of contact there. Let's go back and have a look at that. That's certainly going to be interesting to see what happens there. So Hunter the Punty. Was he living up to his name? Let's have a look. So coming down into uh, the hairpin. Don't forget the light board's roughly your breaking point. Does break quite late, goes for the dive bomb. And doesn't make it happen. And look at JP99 just cuts him up on the inside. Uh, so that's JPH up to six position then. Uh, path 46 back past the Les. So these guys changing positions more than they change the pants tonight. Uh, something tells me we haven't seen the last overtake between these two yet. I wouldn't mind just keeping my eye on these boys, but it's not fair to everyone else. Uh, it's 
cover everyone else off. So JPX 99. He's uh, got 1.5 seconds to Kaiser 2. We know he's got the pace to do it. So he's uh, got 8 minutes remaining to get further up the grid. Can we do that? Uh, Jurito Mono's debut race. Uh, having a good outing, to be fair, is Jurito Mono's. Uh, He's, he's proved himself quite well. I haven't seen any incidents from him anyway, so uh, we'll find out in the group chat if people start calling him an idiot or not afterwards. But uh, so far, so good. Uh, currently holding the purple sector, um, sector one as well, which means he's the fastest man on track in that sector. Hunting uh, the Punty has gone a little bit backwards, I'm afraid. Uh, Harry and him, Carl, side by side, coming into the hairpin, but him, Carl, just sees him off. Something tells me these two are teammates because they've got matching memories. Not too sure. Uh, TP86 TP has fallen one position further down. There's now that Danzo calling on his backside, but he's going to try and get past the long very quick. Can he do it? Yes, he can. By the way, I don't mind you boys having matching memories because they've got my logo on it. Do whatever you want as long as you put my logo on it. Fine, my mate. Uh, Danzo, yet again, has been involved in quite a lot of stuff. Uh, lots of good racing from Danzo. I've uh, raced with him quite a few times in the GT3 League. He's, uh, he's a good racer. Uh, he seems to be thickly involved in this. Uh, I, I want to say that's the Belgian flag, but I'll probably get caught. I always get confused with the Belgian and the German flag, so I'm just going to call them Belgians. It's not far off, I think. Um, meanwhile, the Les and Pav, yet again, swapping positions. So I have a feeling that these boys are just going to overtake each other every single lap until one of them decides not to bother anymore and go for the win. It's Belgium. I thought it was. I always get... I always get... You can see why I get confused between Belgium and Germany, because basically it's the same colours, just a different way around. So, light blade then. The good news for light blade is because those guys keep overtaking each other. Um, he's took a second out of him in the last few minutes. If he keeps up that rate of improvement, um, he's gonna get some slipstream very soon, and that'll help him in his case. Uh, whether he can make an overtake when he gets there is another matter. We'll see. Uh, slow Shameless isn't really bringing Light Blade in too quickly, but he isn't getting caught either. Uh, JPX99, after overtaking pretty much everyone at the hairpin, is now on to fend them off again. So Jurita Mon wants his place back. And uh, he's pushing him. Uh, lots of lagging going off in the lobby tonight. Let's just have a quick onboard of Humpty the Punty as we watch everyone go uh, up and through the S's. So Hunty riding the sausages as we know he likes to do. Uh, getting the benefit of a double suck down the back straight. Uh, basically a lot of moves can be made here if you're just very good on your brakes. Hunter's a lot better on his brakes than Dorito was just then. He pulled him up really quickly. Uh, but I think just backed out of it at the same point as well. So yeah, so the good news for Lightblade, he's now in the slipstream of the cars ahead, so he can uh, effectively get a little bit of free pace down the straights. Uh, if he keeps him in sort of 1.5 seconds of him, which he just slipped out of, unfortunately, but if he can keep roughly where he is or closer, it's going to help him out. I think these two have enjoyed themselves, though, Pav and Les as well as the last four minutes of the race. Uh, Pav does go for a move down the inside, Les... Fairness gives him the space, but he's got the inside for turn two, so perhaps not going to get that move done here. Let's just flick through everyone. JPEG is the most drop. Hunty the Punty a tiny bit. Uh, Hunty the Punty is coming under pressure, or was coming under pressure from Jurita, but it looks like he managed to get past him. Um, so good move there by Hunty. Him, Carl, has managed to drop uh, Lorry 32. TP86 racing right in the thick of these two Belgian boys now. I could say he's in a Belgian bun. Uh, they're all riding that sausage like champions tonight, and TP86 has done it wrong on this occasion. Gone wide, and is that going to let Danzo into the mix coming up the hill? I think it is. Uh, a little bit of contact there, didn't 
really catch that too closely, but they come off worse because of it. When I was in 15 minutes, good luck with yours, mate. I'll catch you in 15 minutes or so. Oh, Danzo just gets a little bit pushed wide there. He's not happy about it. A bit of a flick of the lights to um, demonstrate his uh, disdain for that move. Six is now trying to get on the back of Danzo and get a move made. I think he's going to go for it straight away. He is. There's a nice little move by T P A Six. Danzo gives him the gives him all the room in the world. And um, oh, look at that! Look at how close Lightblade was then. Granted, I don't think going on the grass will have helped him light, but he's a lot closer than he was a few laps ago. Uh, the problem is now he's going to get in the dirty air. Very prevalent in sector three, the dirty air where you've got a lot of high speed loading corners. So he's gonna he's, he's gonna be thankful for it here, but when we get to the latter part of the lap, you're gonna see him drop away a tiny bit, and that's because his uh, his front end's out washing the corner than normally would. There's two minutes remaining now. Now entering their potentially penultimate lap. Uh, I think I could, I've got enough material on these two to cover a video by themselves. Uh, this is the view that either of them have had the entire race, just a, the Sirocco up the arse the entire time. Uh, so, 125 a lap, they're not going to make it across the line in time to do another lap after this. You are now up going to be watching the final lap of this one, ladies and gents, and Les leads us into it, but only by two tenths of a second. Um, any overtakes move made now could be final. So Pav 46 is definitely going to be measuring his opponent up over the next minute in order to get that done. Live Blade, I'm afraid to say, probably a bit too far back to do anything about it. Uh, but if he can just focus on having a clean lap, he will secure last spot on the podium. Uh, slow Seamus, not so slow anymore. Fourth position for him. Some good laps in there as well. He's at two in fifth at the minute. Quite safe from JPH chasing down in six. JPH is in a world of his own. Um, Hunty the Punty, meanwhile, has got Jurito Mon all over him. Just flick back up then because these boys are coming right to the end of their stint. Hunter going full bore defensive into the hairpin, not willing to give him an inch. Is Jurito going to hang it around the outside and go for the cutback? I think it's the latter, but Hunter's just got that one made. Let's flip back up to the top and just watch the last few corners of these guys. I know this is what you want to see the Les and Path 46 smashing it out. Now, the time is going to run out any second now, so that's it. If Path's going to make a move, he's got to do it now, otherwise, the Les is going to claim victory. Here they come then, first, second and third round the final corner. And less than a tenth of a second separates first and second. Light Blade comes in two seconds behind them. Slow Seamus in fourth. Keza Tuhas is going to bring in fifth position, mostly alone in this race during the uh, end stages. Uh, JP99 brings in six and smashes it into the wall for good measure. Jurita Mon did get past onto the bunty at the end there, we did miss that. Uh, him, Carl, good debut race for him. I'm assuming his name's Carl as well. Um, in the lovely Lubatz livery, Sirocco. He brings in Knight, Flurry Fit, 2 and TP86. Just bringing up 10th and 11th with Danzo and Harry in 12th and 13th. Uh, our boy Shadow Stalker in 14th. And then last but by no means least uh, is uh, Mr. John himself uh, in 15th. He just loves his, uh, he just loves to drive out. Uh, so that's your racing, that I think. Um, I think these two are going to spend the rest of the night sort of watching the replay of this one as to how good it was. Uh, so a good race between these two. I don't think there was any. I don't think there's any more than half a second between them the entire race. Um, so they did they did really well to um, to keep that one going and clean. Uh, so well done to Pav. Well done to Les. Obviously, you got to remember that this is Pav's first time at doing this. Uh, so to jump in these cars with no practice and. Um, and basically put it on who could be potentially the champion of the league is quite good. Light Blade a good result for him as well. And uh, that's it for round number three. So you'll get confirmation of the results in just a tick.
it was a proper race. I just wish I could talk properly for it. Because I genuinely think... Um, yeah, I genuinely think that if I could talk properly and actually think at a pace that suits me... Um, I could do it justice. Yeah, I, mate, it wasn't just you lagging. I saw quite a few people lagging away. Um, I don't know if it was J, um, JPH's connection or what, but everyone just seems to have a little bit of lag on them, so God knows. Um, I'm going to end it here. Don't forget Dark Smoke is streaming any minute now over on his channel. You can see his um, channel in the comments if you scroll down. Um, go and check him out. He'll be with the P1 boys doing their Renault McGann's uh, in about 10 minutes time. So go and make yourself a cup of tea and go and sit down for that. Um, other than that, that's it from me tonight. Thank you very much for joining me and um, I'm going to have some lamb sip and go to bed. So, good night. Thank you very much.